Alright, let's do this. What's up everyone? Empowered Qs here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are playing against some uh, Mordekaiser actually in the top lane. I haven't played against a Mordekaiser in forever. So hopefully he doesn't whoop my ass because he can get some surprising damage. There you go, got a nice little trade there. He's going to heal up right there. So definitely going to uh, get some anti-healing items here. So I'm gonna look to push that level two advantage. Back up, don't wanna fight him has that going on. Let's see if I can get this minion here. Back it up. So I don't wanna fight him when he has that uh, those three hits going on, because that shit hurts. Uh, got another second for award. So Kha'Zix that blue buff, so I gotta be careful there. Bring it on. Might wait till I have level three to trade here. Yep. Let's see. Put on my mini map. Ready for Secure that cannon minion. I want to challenge him for this cannon minion. Back it up. I have uh, Xin Zhao on my side of the map so I can play a little bit more aggressively. That's going to be the tough thing about this matchup is getting damage that actually sticks. Wait for his shield to fall off. Pop my last potion. Pushing. I don't think he's got an award yet. Surprise. No, stick around. Okay, well, it's slow pushing to me, so he either has to back and teleport. Bring it on. Or. Back it up. Almost. Let me add him. He's going bot side. This is gonna push to me, so I'm just gonna let this push in, and I can farm it under uh, tower real quick. I don't have any potions, so my sustain is kind of gone. So at least stay in exp range. We see Kha'Zix, uh top side, so we want to be extra super duper careful. So he's probably back in here. Nice. All the CS are belonging to me. Yeah, it's kind of an awkward matchup, but I feel like after I get like my Trinity Force or some core items, it will really favor me. Um, so looking forward to it. It will be all right. I want to push this wave out, get it to reset, so I can get off the back as well. Mordekaiser did not use his teleport, so I want to make sure I push. Uh, the nice thing against Mordekaiser is he doesn't really have any CC, so I don't have to worry about that. He's not going to kill me. Cool. Back it up. Unfortunately, I think I have to TP to catch the wave, which is less than ideal, but... Man, I don't think I can get any of the items that I want. To team at 12. You know what? There we go. So this is a cannon wave, so... Definitely gonna TP back. Proper key. Proper key. Nice. I have my ultimate that's so going to super help. Nope. Back it up. No reason fighting him when that's going up, so I can just kind of heal through that. I forgot how much healing Mordekaiser had. I'm going to have to be really careful about that. So just respect the poke. 
pop another potion. Surprise. I don't know why he's only level four. Bring it on. Okay, point it back up. Get my CS. Nice, 53 to 45, so I'm a smidgen behind, but... Ready for battle. Hmm... Let's see here... Back it up. Just wait till my stuff is up. I think you're gonna pick the worst time, buddy. Nice, good job. Didn't even miss my cannon minion. Yay, a jungler that pays attention to top lane. Awesome, cool. Nice. So I'm gonna start working towards my Trinity Force now. Probably gonna grab the health component. It's gonna be super nice here. Get a control ward. Nice. Good stuff. Nice. Good job by mid lane. See what's going on here. What is this Blitzcrank doing? Yeah, I'll say he's going to have to flash if he don't want to die. Um, you know what? Actually, I might turn this longsword into as an executioner's calling. Uh, it's only 450 gold. Super cheap, and I feel like it's going to be super duper efficient against. Uh, oh, Mordekaiser TP. Nice. That's so bad for him. So what I want to do here is since he blew his teleport, I want to push this wave super fast. Uh, it's going to set him really behind. Because he's going to miss all these minions, and he's not going to get anything out of his teleport now. So, uh, yeah, that is super, super, super good for us. Nice. Good shit. That's how I like to see that go. All right. Almost. Yeah, it isn't Viz. <laughs> Almost. Thought I could get him. I missed my uh, stun. That's okay. Bring it on. What are you doing? Just pop this just in case. I can ward hop. Perfect. See ya, Mordekaiser. I could get these right here, just in case. He's gonna keep following, so. I could pop out if I need to. Got him. Run! Run! No! 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 <laughs> oh, the pain. Damn, that sucks. Oh well, I get what I wanted out of it. I get my executioner calling and uh, and a phage. Oh, I can't believe her freaking comet got me. A good ADC. They exist. They exist. But yeah, no, it's 58 CS to 73. Like, and this, uh, I think it's what even two, four, six, two, four, six. Yeah, so it should hold pretty well. Um, so yeah, good stuff. And now this is going to allow me to make a lot more sticking damage against the Mordekaiser because he's just healing up most of it right now. So this should be good. The Phage is going to give me some movement speed. I'm definitely going to need some boots pretty soon here because I think he is going for a Rylize. I don't remember. That's my bad. All right, so let's see don't have my conquer up, so don't want to jump in. Surprise! Let's see if he... Back. Nope. Back it up. Solar 
this is gonna slow push, so just kinda keep an eye out for my teleport. I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything that can be done about that one. Uh, but there might be something that I can do bottom, so... I can pressure in, because if they push up the tower, I can teleport right here. If they push up the tower... Yep. Really what you should do is try to execute. Now that was a jerk move. He should have given me the kill. I'm just saying. I used my TP for that. Should get something out of it. <laughs> mm, I think they got whatever's going on there. So I'm going to back and... Oh, Easy's going top to clear that. Perfect. Um, that's really nice of the Easy. That's going to stop the Mordecai from pushing. And I can push this wave and then head back. Pressure this wave. Nice. Good stuff. And then uh, in situations like that, you always want to save your gap close. You notice how I just utilized my E and I was waiting for the second that he flashed in order to use my jump, but I don't remember if he had it or not. Uh, and if he didn't, then no worries at all. And if he did, I was ready with my jump. Yeah, very greedy. Is he staying? So, start heading mid. Yeah, definitely heading mid. Maybe I can help get something. Because they're super weak. Mordekaiser has nothing. Get some of my uh, attack speed up. Same thing. Yep. So saved my gap closer again. Almost. Alright, we can pressure this wave in. I have a lot of gold that I need to spend though. Sorry, Zareth, my bad. Cool. Get this tower. Very nice. Uh, I'd like to run Rift Herald and maybe grab that. Another objective we can nab. Get a little bit of vision right here. Bring it all. Blue buff stuff, I can steal that. Yep. Yeah, easy uh, could probably use the mana more than I could. Get some health. Good stuff. Very competent team, not gonna lie. Pretty happy with that. I do not want to. Oh shit. Team at proc for the win! <laughs> Damn spell sh shield. Oh god. Oh, I should probably get a pair of boots. Just saying. All of the objectives. All of your objectives are belonging to us. Boop. All right, cool. Want to go pressure bottom wave so it's ready for dragon. this wave in, then I can start helping prep dragon. I got a control ward I can place there. Ready for battle. Easy, okay, cool. In order to push the wave, you just need to push it past river, and I'll start going that way. Don't know what that was. Start popping my potions. I should have had them popping a little bit earlier, but help him see. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Let's see. Any enemies? Cover Lulu. Cool. Nice. 
Cool. I go back and catch this wave that's building. Mordekaiser has to answer this top one. Oh. Surprise! Um, sir. Well, he probably wants to do it so we can uh, pop Rift Herald. That's fine. Yep. Let's see, I'm gonna put a ward up here. Up Kha'Zix, I'm out of here, peace! Cool. Maybe not the best use of Shelly, but that's okay. I think Merc treads. Snare, slow. Snare, snare. Slow, yeah. Let's do Merc Treads. A little bit of probably the only magic resist that I actually get all game to, so. Nice. Gonna catch this top wave that's building. So that's that's what you want to do as a top laner. So uh my other teammate had pushed this past the river. It caught on this tower, Mordekaiser pushed it, and now it's building up nice Ready here. So I could go answer for it, re-push it. And now, same thing happened back here. Remember when we pushed it to tower, it's resetted now. And this big wave is going to build up. So probably in about 40 seconds or so, this will hit tower. And you'll want to go collect the free gold. Cool. So I could probably push one more wave. And someone will want to grab that bot farm. So I can either look to make a play around the map or just back and collect it myself. So there's nothing really for me to buy now, so there's no reason for me to leave the map. So I can try and steal a little bit of jungle camps and secure some vision. Gotta be careful, I just saw Mordekaiser and Blitz right there. There's Kha'Zix, oh god. Nice, got my attack speed up. Should have been popping my potions a lot more. Nice, I love Lulu, oh god. I should have jumped out much earlier. That's all right. <laughs> we got what we needed. Man, that shielding was obnoxious. I love having Lulus on my team. They're my favorite. Cool. So, yeah, this is pretty much prepped for perfection. So, it should hit right here. So, that by the time that I'm up, which realistically should have been a back, not a death, but I digress. I can run and grab this wave. I actually might TP to it. So I need a TP here. I think they, they should be okay to back. Yeah, they'll be fine. The new and improved cannon minions. Don't miss it. It's worth so much gold. No! <laughs> Alright, same deal, push this past. I think I need 1100 for my Titanic, yeah. So, looking to get that and make some pressure. I have teleport so I can get a little bit of a split push on. Just gonna make sure we have nice established vision. Or we at least know where everyone is. We just saw Kha'Zix. Well, he's dead. Wow, he got that. Impressive. Steal some jungle away. Oh god. I'm out. Ace. Adios. I got enough for my Titanic, so see ya. Does that stop me from backing? It does. It's like, uh, what's it called? Darius uh, Bleed. That's the thing I hate the most about Darius Bleed, is even when I disengage from him properly, it just kind of chills there and stops me from backing or doing anything. Uh, I know I didn't really mention it, but I am doing pretty much the standard uh, Jax build, at least in my opinion, of Trinity, Titanic. Um, probably going to go Rage Blade just because I love building it. Help me uh, kill this Mordecai so much faster. Um, a. I'm ready to teleport here. I think I got it. 
Nice. Asterix wouldn't be bad to survive the Kha'Zix burst. Um, or a Quicksilver Sash if, you know, she gets in my way. Uh, Randuin's Omen actually wouldn't be a bad item here at all either. He's going to build a lot of crit. The armor's going to help against Kha'Zix. The slow is great for Jack, so it pretty much has everything he wants. So we see two of them in, in the mid lane, Kha'Zix. Uh, just back, so I can make this pressure here. I'm not really worried about Morgana killing me. So grab a little bit of vision here. Don't see them anymore, so they probably are. Just gonna get out. Not really a way I want to use my flash, but. Is what's still worth it after nerf? Got the flash. Cool. To pressure mid. Yeah, definitely. Um, the question that was just asked to me is Rage Blade still worth it after the nerf? It wasn't so much as a nerf as they increased the... Oh, and again, nice. Good stuff is they increased the cost of it by 300 gold. So LS was talking about it, and that equates to about two waves. I don't really think um, it's that big of a deal. It, it is a nerf uh, in the essence that it takes longer to get the power spike, but I think the situations that you build Rage Blade or when you're already really far ahead and stomping. Level up. And promoted. Um, and when you're that far ahead already, you can usually afford the extra 300 gold. Uh, and it gives you such powerful uh, dueling potential um, to when you build it up really quickly and you get on top of them, you just obliterate them so quickly that I still really, really like it. But had I been behind in this matchup, let's say... I was losing, I probably wouldn't build Rage Blade. I'd uh, go Random and Omens first to be more tanky. Traditionally, tanky items are cheaper than damage items. So if you look at kind of like the costs, uh, it's easier to have to go tanky if you're doing poorly. And you'll see people talk about like junglers doing that if they're behind instead of going more damage items. And the key is to survive, especially like, let's say look at my team. Look how good Xin Zhao did. Look how good Zareth did. Um, so if I was doing poorly, I would just transition to that. But I could have afforded to be greedy and still go on the Rage Blade aspect. So uh, all in all, pretty good game. It was kind of interesting to go against Mordekaiser. I forgot how much healing that guy did, but he was essentially useless. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Come hang out with me on Twitch. All the information is in there uh, in the description. Yeah, that Zara did a ton of damage. So come hang out. See me record and enjoy. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.